Ron Harris here from MuscleDevelopment.com at the Olympia Weekend. Coverage brought to you by High Tech Farmers School. Standing here with the juggernaut from the UK, Luke Sando. He's got his own shirt. Yeah, just so people know who I am. Too bad you're not here. You could have bought one yourself. So, Luke, this is your first Olympia? Yes, it is. Uh, you told a cool story during the press conference today yeah. that you were following the coverage of the Olympia, what, 2010 when, you're, 2011. when, when your son or daughter was being born? My son, yeah. That was insane. See, I think I think I probably turned a lot of people off now. They're like, you are terrible. You weren't there for you. Well, you weren't there for his mom. She was asleep. So, um, yeah, so it was literally, I remember it. He, I mean, he was he was quite a quick birth, yeah. and then I was just sat there on my phone all the rest of the evening on Twitter, just watching, watching it unfold, yeah. seeing Phil Eve, and I was just I just remember sitting there then, and I hadn't even competed at this point, yeah. and I'd only been about I was about six months into actually taking bodybuilding seriously, yeah. and I was like, one day I hope I get that level, yeah. and to be sat here today to tell the sto that story yeah. to the Olympia audience was quite surreal. So this is your first Olympia, mm -hmm. uh, this is your third season as a pro, second. It's hard to say. I don't know. Yeah, well, he's been a pro for a couple of years. Let's put it that way. Yeah. You know, uh, I've seen you compete a couple of times. I was so impressed with the Arnold Classic. Again, a few weeks ago in Tampa, uh, you know, you took second to one of the greatest bodybuilders of my generation, Dexter Jackson. And now, you know, you're 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 on the wise. A lot of people have you in their top five predictions. I have you in my top five predictions, much to the chagrin of other guys who I didn't pick. Uh, you know, do you feel like you're in a really good spot where you might not have been a year or two ago to really make your mark at the Olympia? Yeah, oh yeah, for, for sure. Yeah. I mean, it's, I mean, it takes a couple of years to even the muscle you have for it to start looking good. And I'm st my muscle still isn't all that mature. And you'd agree with that, it needs a lot more maturity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I certainly didn't have it two years ago. Hmm. And, uh, and that's why every time it's been easier for me to get in shape. Every time I get in shape, I'm, I'm looking harder, I look drier. Yeah. So I think two years ago, I wouldn't have had that, no matter how lean I'd gotten. So, yeah. and obviously now I'm bigger and more balanced, and I think I have the size now to stand on a stage like this. And yeah. You were building a really strong fan base very quickly. Uh, first of all, you had the, the Size Game podcast, very popular. Yeah. You know, but you've also been doing these videos for uh, your sponsor, Redcon, where you're, yeah. you know, you talk to people like, just like you're their buddy, like they've known you forever, and a lot of your personality seems to come through. Uh, do you hear from a lot of fans who, you know, you're in, they're in, they're inspired and they feel like, you know, yeah. you're not up, up on this pedestal like some of the some of the other guys. You're, if you talk to them like you're one of them, because I am one of them. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. It's like I don't, I am just a normal guy. I'm just a normal guy. 280 pound guy. <laughs> just a normal shredded 280 pound guy doing the Olympia. But no, that's how I see myself. So like when when I talk to the camera, I'm just it's way easier just to be yourself. Yeah. And it's like if I'm myself all the time, then I've never put on an act. I don't ever have to, you know, pretend to be something else to impress somebody. I just, I'm just me. And you're probably the only guy in the Olympia this year, anyway, who was a punk rock drummer for a couple of years, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's a true story. If you don't know about Luke. Yeah, punk, metal, indie, rock, pop. I actually prefer playing pop music, to be honest. Okay. Gospel, all of it. Okay. Cool. Yeah. All right, well, Luke. His popularity has got a massive line of people waiting for him. I'm holding him up, so I'm going to let I'm going to let this go. I'm going to say goodbye. Wish you the best of luck, Thank Luke. You, Thank you for taking the time. Muscledevelopment.com. This has been Luke Sando.